starting to rain. I have to pack it in. So here's the little tank I made for these micro darklings. Got that rock there. It looks kind of like a meteorite. And then this one over here, it's got some gold flecks in it, maybe fool's gold. Some choya wood, and then the pink sand, and then my friend down here, this sort of half-buried goblin that I just like. We're gonna drop our beetles in now and watch them take to their new home. So the size on these, <laughs> quite small compared to the other ones we normally see in the pet desert beetle hobby. But for their size, you can see how active they are, fast moving, and the colors are quite nice. Combinations of red and black, nice striation, those lines on the abdomen, and of course, one of the nice things about Tenebs, always, is that they're very communal and can live, not just with large numbers of their own species, but along with any other darkling beetles, death feigning beetles. Here's one digging through the substrate. Kind of reminds me of the scene in Star Wars where they are all stuck in the trash compactor. Some close-ups here. The textured exoskeleton and antennae of the species. So we have another species here. This is Eliodes tribulus. And this is a female. You can see her rounded abdomen. In contrast to the male here, who has a little protrusion there at the tip of his abdomen. I call them fuzzy darklings because they are actually covered in a lot of hair, or CT, what we call this fine mat of hair on insects. <laughs> Going to cut up some micro bits of carrot for these micro darklings. So I have a very small dish. It's actually a little bracked, or I don't even know what you call them. It came off of a pine cone, and it's sort of concave, and so I'm using it as a dish. And I've cut up those small bits of carrot, and now we'll just wait and watch for the desert beetles to come and find it. working on tomorrow's video again, checking some things on Bug Guide. And there's good old Hisser dude. 15 minutes ago, he placed this specimen of Eliodes caudifera. And now I have a message from my hosting company letting me know that they are working on a website problem I'm having for the new version of the website. So let's walk through this a bit. 
we're going to talk about how Bug Guide works because it's absolutely one of my favorite websites ever. And Hisser Dude moderates on there or contributes a lot of help to people who place their images on the guide. And then he comes along and sort of moves things around as a moderator and puts them in the correct categories, or at least gets them a little bit closer to where they will go ultimately as various people donate their time to identify the specimens on this website. So I'm going to click on this and we can see here that back on July 26th, a user named Brittany uploaded this image and she had titled it Bombardier Beetle with a question mark, which is a pretty reasonable guess as to what it might be. You see the tip of the abdomen there on this beetle. It looks like it could project something from it, which Bombardier Beetles are very famous for doing. But as the conversation unfolded down here in the comments section, you can see that people started to move it a little closer and closer to where it would ultimately be including moving it here to the desert stink beetle section. Somebody had guessed it was Eliotes, and then more specifically, Eliotes codifera. And eventually the specimen was placed here taxonomically. And so we'll talk about that. The species is Eliotes codifera. It's in the subgenus Sud Eliotes in the genus Eliotes, in the tribe Amphidorini, in the subfamily Tenebrionini, and then in the family Tenebrionidae. And so we're talking about two beetles today. Neither of them is Eliotes caudifera, but they are all in the family Tenebrionidae and also both in the subfamily Tenebrionidae. They differ in what tribe they are in. And so we'll click on this here. We're gonna go up here to taxonomy because there are still quite a few other categories here called tribes. And one of our beetles is here in the Eulabini, Eulabini. <laughs> and that's the Apsina. And if I click back here now on the images tab, we'll see a selection of them there. We'll click on this first image here, and you can see that Hisser Dude himself posted an image of these, and he found his specimen last year in Idaho. And the other species that we are featuring in this video today is Eliotes tribulus. And you can see that they are in the tribe Amphidorini, the genus Eliotes, subgenus, nobody talks about that, Sud Eliotes. And then finally, their species is Eliotes tribulus.